welcome back to the channel everyone thank you so much for joining me as always so i'm going to show you guys my nightly hair routine this is for when i don't have a twist out or braids or some sort of protective style and i have to do something with my hair before i go to sleep so this is generally the routine i would do every night it's going to be slightly different because i do want um some bangs for tomorrow since I didn't twist my hair, so I'm gonna do like a puff and some bangs tomorrow. But this is minus the bangs, this is what I would do for my nightly routine. Very important, as always, moisturize the hair. So I don't wear a fro very often, I typically just wear it on the weekends. One, I feel like it gets super dry when I wear it out in a fro and two it just garners a little bit too much attention for my liking like I am blackity black but a fro just says hey I'm blackity black and come ask me about my blackity blackness and that's not what I want so if you're wondering what I just did um my hair in the very front is a slightly too long for bangs so I have to part it and kind of grab some hair from the back to make my bangs with. Do it quick. All right, so I'm just gonna twist this up to get it out of the way. Cause these are gonna be my bangs for tomorrow. Hopefully I measured properly and they don't end up being too short but now for my nightly routine just section this off all right i'm going to be moisturizing with my Kansu leave-in conditioner i would say that leave-in is probably the product that i use the most on my hair what is going on like this is very tangled but I put a pretty good amount of leave-in conditioner on. And I'll probably put some more, not probably, I will put some more leave-in conditioner on in the morning. Probably not as much as right now, but decent amount. Then I just grab and twist. Now if I wasn't doing my bangs for tomorrow, this would just be a four section situation. Just detangle. Jeez. After I wear my fro, my hair is just so. Mm. But generously apply the leave in. Now, if your hair is like prone to build up, I will be careful specifically with the can too because that now what reason is there for your car stereo to be that loud ridiculous anyway like i was saying if your hair is prone to build up i would be careful with the can too because it does tend to build up rather quickly so just put a little bit less. Alright, so that would normally be the end of the nighttime routine. But like I said, we are doing bangs tomorrow. Now I have to measure right because sometimes they look, I make them too short and I end up looking crazy. But I think these are a good length. Or maybe, I think I'm going to grab a little bit more because they seem kind of short. So I'm going to grab some more hair from here.
Alright. I think this is good. So they'll hang about there. So I'm gonna split this into two sections. And then we're gonna do some chunky twists. Just a regular two strand twist. All right, so here's what's gonna make up my bangs tomorrow. It looks crazy right now, yes. But in the morning, these will be shrunken up and in the correct position, I hope. I'll try to snap a picture and throw it in so y'all can see. Now, we're going to Put some oil in our hands and rub them on the twist to seal in all the moisture. Miss the hair, of course, and My favorite oil sheen, olive oil from ORS. These Friday night lights, I don't know if y'all can see that, but yeah. And the final step is, of course, the satin bonnet. So that is my hair routine for when I do not have a protective style, which is not very often. But when it does happen, that is my process. I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.